Hey guys, how you doing? Well, I'm doing okay. Uh, I like to do an update uh, on the news. Now, um, I was a little depressed to hear about the, the idea that Trump is going to be arrested uh, on this alleged transaction of some years ago. And since I spoke to all you guys, I was watching a lot of news and they have a very weak case. They're trying to take a misdemeanor and build it up to a felony. Uh, which, I mean, it's a nothing burger. There's nothing there. And the only reason they're doing this is because uh, Trump is running for president, re-election. That's really the only reason. So, I have confidence that this is just the same empty attacks that Marxists have been doing uh, to keep Trump from fixing the problems in Washington. Now, in addition, I'm sorry, to all of that, I've been able to identify the difference between Democrats and Marxists who are also communists. Communists, Marxists, they're about the same, right? And the difference between them and regular Democrats. The Democrats is willing to live with Republicans and conservatives. They're willing to coexist with them. They don't agree with them, but they're willing to coexist with them. That's a Democrat. The Marxist and co communist is the one that shuts up and cancels anybody who disagrees with them. That's basically communism and Marxism. And I was trying to find a video of Trump's speech in uh, Iowa on YouTube, and I was unable to find it. I just saw little snippets and little uh, sound bites, but not. But that not the full speech because if you take sound bites and little snippets, you are editing the entire speech. Okay, you're it's, it, you're, you're being like the old uh, shock um, news magazines that they used to have on TV where they just edited everything to make it sound like one thing, but they're taking it out of context. Well, that's why I don't like snippets of everything, because they take that out of context. Also, I want to hear the whole damn thing. This way you hear the whole message, because you change one or two words in a sentence, you change the meaning. I learned that a long time ago in school. You change one word, or you make any changes to a sentence, you change the meaning. And that's why every sentence is sac sacred, and it's sacrilegious to change an established statement. Okay? Because you're changing the meaning, and you're basically putting words in that person's mouth that they're not saying. So, I couldn't find it. And then I found this long video 
and the name of the video was the full speech with a little tagline saying triggering with a person's little face in the corner and I'm like oh no I'm not watching this because if he's going to put if he's going to be there and show the entire speech and call it triggering he is a Marxist he is going to share with his Marxist communist audience who you know and what he's saying and whatever right so I thought well at least it's better than nothing you know and I thought okay I'm gonna watch this and I'm going to forgive the guy because he knows not, knows not what he's doing. So it's like, Lord, forgive him, for he knows not what he's doing. He knows not what he's saying. Forgive him. He's deluded, you know. So I was willing to do that, right? So the video starts and he's thanking all the governors and all the people in office. And almost every single name that Trump mentions, the guy giggles like a teenager making fun of a name. And the way he speaks, um, when he talked about uh, uh, how he fought, against all the people attacking him he had a New York accent so the guy says fort okay fort okay he's 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 fort and I'm like okay so he's making fun of Trump's accent and I remember how Marxists were making fun of Melania's accent. And I said, oh, this is so childish. This is so childish to make fun of somebody's accent. And, and then he started making fun of all these names. And to make fun of someone else's name is childish. Just like the kids in summer camp, Camp Trooper, were making fun of my name. Calling me Lip Torn. You know. Hey, Lip Torn. You know, Lip Torn Molten Lava Soup. Which I couldn't understand until they showed me the Wacky Pack. And I, I then got the joke. And once I got the joke, they stopped calling me Lip Torn. You know, making fun of somebody's name is childish. And he was doing it again and again and again. What did he say? Dush, 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 dush. I mean, he sounded more like an idiot than the way he's trying to make the president sound in articulating these names. He sounds uneducated. He sounds like an idiot. President Trump is way ahead of him. Way ahead of him. And this guy who's supposed to be uh, the woke uh, Marxist and everything, he sounded like an idiot. And I'm thinking, okay, you're making fun of somebody's name. How childish is that? Okay, Kitty, why don't you go find your mama? Your mama's calling you, you know. And then President Trump 
mentions about the Marxists in our country. And the guy stops the video and he says, almost with a straight face, there are no Marxists in our country. I was like, I almost laughed. I said, oh, you are in your own little world. You don't even see it. You are so... I was like, I couldn't watch anymore. When I heard him say, oh, there is no Marxists in our country. Yeah, because if he, uh, if he believed and he understood that there were Marxists in this country, you know, then that would blow everybody on that side. That would blow the cover, quote unquote, of the commie Marxist people over there. You know, and so they are basically got their eyes covered and are not allowed to see the reality of, you know, them being Marxists and communists, woke. So anyway, as I just... I just wanted to pass that along to you and be aw be aware of any videos that talk about triggering because the only people who talk about triggering is the Marxists. You never hear any Republican conservative talk about triggering. I mean, that's a psych psychology term, you know, or uh, what foods are a trigger? What's a trigger food for you? Is it Oreos when you try to lose weight? Is it this? Is it that? Or is it a location? Uh, our former addicts, right, and they get detox. And they're told never to re-enter the neighborhoods they used to get their drugs because that would be a trigger. Okay? It's a psychology term. Trigger. It is never really used in mainstream conversation. I mean, if you go to a psychologist convention, yeah. You're going to hear many people at that convention, all the psychologists in the social party or whatever, at the convention, talk about trigger, 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 trigger. Also, I'll pull the trigger. Boom. You want to talk about trigger, I'll tell you trigger. Boom. I pull the trigger. So, but anyway, anytime you see the word triggering, just know, do not watch it. Because it is loaded with falsehoods. Based on the, you know, covering of the eyes they're not allowed to see. So anyway, that's all I want to basically say. And um, I did watch uh, his speech and and the and the uh, questions that the audience the crowd asked him. So yeah. So anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening again. I'll see you guys later. Okay, take care, guys. See you soon. Bye.